demo set proved that we were legit. Very quickly, we started getting a lot of interest from early customers. It was then that we got to meet our customer at Pacific Data Port in Alaska. All right, now we've actually signed a customer. Wow, all right. Oh, damn, this is real. Oh no, we have to actually build this. <laughs> Hundreds, thousands of people want us to go do this. And we're doing what exactly? The construction of Arcturus was a journey. It's a brand new thing we're inventing here. A satellite is a giant, integrated, complex, technical piece with so many things going on. There's all kinds of new things you have to deal with with a geosatellite. We started from just the very basics. It was a change in scale and what we were thinking about what we could do. And a system that didn't just have to work as a demonstration, right? It had to work over the long haul for high paying customers. The challenge was where do we start? In our case, we decided that we needed a software-defined radio so that we could have full onboard digital processing for each of our satellites. We were founded right at the verge of when satellites started to figure out how to do digital payloads as opposed to dumb analog repeaters in the sky. It's much better if you can build the same satellite over and over and over again and then customize it in other ways, namely in software. Look, it's a giant optimization problem, right? You're trying to build something that's as powerful as possible with as much capability as you can, but you also want it to be as light as possible and as inexpensive as possible. And we want to do that extremely quickly. Really, initially, we wanted to launch as a rideshare. So we selected ESPA, ESPA Grande, and that's like this bounding box of it can be this big, it can weigh this much. How much throughput, how much capability can I pack into that volume? At a certain point, we had too many people and too much stuff for 21 Stillman. Funnily enough, a space that was exactly the size for us happened to be on exactly the same block. So we moved from 21 Stillman, our loft apartment, to 420 Bryant, going to what felt like a real office that we could actually build big spacecraft in at scale. It was awesome, it was exciting. We hired people, we built out a clean room, we started building hardware, and it got, got very crowded very quickly. So we built a qualification unit for Arcturus. Basically, it's the same as what you're going to fly in terms of the structure, the electronics, everything else, so you can test it. Proving your design has margin, levels of stress in environmental testing. It also allows us a pathfinder to test all of our integration and test processes before we do it on flight hardware. Space is a harsh environment, and to make sure that hardware is going to survive up there, we do a lot of testing on the ground. For a lot of us here, our first time doing that ended up being in the middle of the pandemic. What we are asking for everyone to do is to remain at home. We've always been a fairly like safety first company. Even like before the lockdown, we had kind of a COVID task force. When you saw the exponential growth in numbers, it was pretty clear there's a good chance that it was going to hit us like a tidal wave. Oh man, that was a day. It's a normal all hands. We're all sitting around this table. John just called like stop on the meeting. And John goes and takes the mic. And says, we've got to get out of the building. We have 13 hours to get out of this building. City's gonna get shut down, COVID's here. And San Francisco was gonna have a general lockdown starting the next day. Okay, well, we're a hardware company. We have lots of hardware we need to be doing. We were building our, our qual vehicle. Basically, how do you try to transform a satellite startup from being in an office to being dispersed in a bunch of different people's tiny apartments? So we immediately ended the all hands and set the team to work. Come to the office right now. We need to become a remote company that builds hardware. Grab your SIG gens and your spec ans and your, you know, your power supplies. But we just started piling hardware onto rolly carts and getting it to people's apartments. Maybe you've never had a hardware lab at home before, but now you're getting one, let's go. We have all these funny photos of people having little like racks in their bathroom. Hardware equipment lined up on the wall, classic dorm room like Christmas lights that were going across the top of it. chaos, but I think it's like it was kind of like startup life at its most essential, chaotic and fun at the same time. That qual vehicle that we built, we took it to a TVAC chamber that was in Los Angeles. So the issue with using these outside test facilities is you actually have this short window when you're allowed to use the test equipment until the next company comes in and then they need it and they might have it booked for months. We had people down there and we put it in the chamber, got it all ready to go and something went wrong didn't work, didn't turn on properly. There was an issue. Dang it. 
<laughs> we gotta go try and fix this. We gotta fix it in place so that we can continue our, our testing. We made the call to go down and do something that no other company would do, which is pull the satellite out of the chamber, fix the issue, put it all back together, and get it right back into the test chamber and pick up right where we started. Myself and a couple other folks jumped in the car to go down, take it out of the chamber and check things out. We called ourselves, was it like Strike Team Omega or something? We were like the like last chance. From knowing that we had a problem to having people down there 400 miles away, working on that problem was less than eight hours, I think. The normal aerospace way of doing things is move slow and don't touch anything. The original Silicon Valley mindset is move fast and break things. You don't want to break things in outer space, so there is an inherent tension between those two worlds. The way that we are doing things at Astratus is we're marrying the best parts of that move fast culture of Silicon Valley with the rigor that comes with aerospace. A satellite is a giant integrated complex technical piece with so many things going on. You just tackle it head first. You just don't get scared of what you don't know, you stay curious on it.